Yeah. And that Tina. You got a problem with that? She's not here. Shut the shops. Cos we ran out of milk. Cos she said she'd go first. Well, she'll be back any second. What? You just hang on a minute. I mean... Oh, right. I'm a bit dirty to you and all. I knew it. If you just waited two more seconds... If who'd waited? Sarah. Sarah phoned? Mm. I said to be straight back, but she has to go to work. She's got a bit stropper. I don't know if it's me. I'll phone her later. I know what she wants. Been promising I'll visit for ages. Well, why don't you? Want to see me pass up a trip to a salon? Well, me neither. As soon as I know David's OK. Today's the day. Why don't you let me look after David and you go off to see Sarah? I just might do that. Is that semi skimmed? Yeah. You're just going to have to use twice as much. So, will you miss me? Cry myself to sleep. <laughs> hey, you should look us up, you know, when you get out. I'll treat you to a free haircut if you like. God knows you need one. What's the first thing you're gonna do when you get out? Well, you've seen Tina. As if she's not gone off with someone else while you're in here. Hey, if she has, I'll hunt them down and I'll kill them in cold blood. Might be back here before tea time. Fish pie tonight. Oh, it's almost worth doing it for that alone. Doc, come back, yeah? Yeah. I'm only joking. I know, but you're not like the rest in here. Oh, it's steady on, mate. I mean, you're clever. Yeah, you're right. I'm too clever to get caught. How chaff is this, eh? Waiting for our man to come out of jail? It's a young offenders institution. Have we seen the looks we've been getting off people? They know why we're here. Well, maybe it's all part of the process. To make us feel ashamed. Do you hug him first? Hug him first? You know, when he comes out. I just thought, being his mum, you'd what, give him first hug. I don't mind. Yeah, but if we both go in elbows flying, then I'll someone's eye out. But if you don't want to hug him, I'll fill my boots. No, I do want to hug him. Okay, you can go first. Okay. But don't take too long, though. I hadn't hugged him for a long time. I'll be quick. Somehow I think he'd prefer to hug you than me. No, oh, speak <laughs> of the devil. <laughs> oh, David! <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> OK, we've worked out wrong. OK. <laughs> <laughs> was quick. He hasn't been inside five minutes. Can we help you? I hope it was a sharp shot, because it certainly was short. He's been punished. I've heard it's like a holiday camp in there. I want my sending you away for a fortnight. I'll not leave it out to you. Next, if you fancy. <laughs> Molly, after bottoming the salon, all I'm fit for is a G&T in the Rovers. Mm. Great minds think alike, eh? 460 that. OK. Not sure we think alike. Otherwise, you wouldn't be rejecting David when he most needs support. Gail, I hope you're going to lighten up before Ted gets here. You not being around might help. Oh, listen to her. Do you know Ted was lucky to miss her teenage years? <laughs> so is your dad coming again, then? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yes, and I will be near because he phoned and said we should all go to the Rovers later. When? So have a word with your face there. You don't want him going off you. When did he phone? He did a part with flashing on. Yeah, get you in, like an accident for Zed's Nah, I'm not squeamish. I work with kebabs. Yeah, I thought that'd be an ace horror film. Having someone on that spinny thing of yours. It's called a gyro. Really, and slicing them up. 
It's not as easy as it looks, you know. Slicing kebabs. Give over. I could do it with my eyes shut. Five of us as you come. All right. Oh, can't imagine you're here to help me with my hair traps. I want you to cancel the drink with Ted. What? Why should I? I've made plans. Well, how am I meant to know that, Gail? You're not talking to me. Haven't you taken enough time off us? Oh, come on, don't start. I mean, I forfeit the first 50 years. Now I'm not allowed to go for a nice walk in the country with him. Find a quiet pub for our tea. A walk in the country? <laughs> What's wrong with that? When did you last fancy a walk in the country? Well, I fancy it now. You used to suck for days whenever I dragged you near a bit of green. Who are you trying to kid him you really are, eh, Julie Andrews? You don't want a drink with me any more than I want a drink with you, so why deliberately ruin me evening? Sorry I'm late. No, come in. Let me take your coat. I was making good time until the car conked. I had to be towed off the M602 by the mechanic at the road. You broke down? Oh, I had some flowers and left them in the back seat. <laughs> is the car all right? Nothing you can't fix first thing, he said. Kevin, is it? It's been nothing but trouble from the start, that car. I should have driven it into the canal. Oh. Not sure that would have been the answer. I'll get the flowers, and then I'll have a ring round, get the price of a higher car, in case it takes longer. I hope you haven't got anything planned for this afternoon. Nothing concrete. We're a bit tied, aren't we, meeting me mum later? Audrey? Was she cancelled? Something to do with Bill's accounts? Right. Get the vase. Uh, how big? About three ninety-nines worth. <laughs> Came in and didn't know you were shot. Don't you start. We're understaffed due to unforeseen heart attacks. Go on then, spin the wheel. What? <laughs> Five off. Me making a kebab with my eyes shut. She's getting me chips with her winnings. Come on then. <laughs> 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 Okay. Turn around. Yeah. <laughs> right. Ow. Ow. Oh, spin yeah. round, spin round. <laughs> right. Knife. Where? Yeah. Pitter. Don't mix them up. Right. Let me add it. Whoa! Go downwards. Oh. Watch so free. She's probably imagining that's my mum. <laughs> <laughs> Not a one until you said that. All right, leave a bit of room for <laughs> some chilli. Right, ready? Uh-huh. Voila. Oh, yeah. You so owe me a fiver. What? What's wrong with that? What's this for? Well, it's just to uh, make it a bit easier. Cheers. Yeah, well, you defo owe me a fiver. Call it my uh, first hour's wages. Wages? Well, yeah, he shot staff. I'm a genius, okay? Why don't you just give me a job until your dad comes back? He failed to get me in the salon. Yeah, I failed to get myself in and all. All right, then. Sound. There you go. Your first and only free bear. Does it come with instructions? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ted, hi. Gave up on Bill's accounts, did you? Gave up on what? Oh, no, no, I'm just going home to do the now. <laughs> it looked like you were going into the pub. You've got time for a quick one, haven't you? Uh, uh, no, no, I was only just going in to ask Liz Summit, uh, the landlady, but uh, look at the time. No, I'll have to ask her tomorrow, so uh, see you soon anyway. Thank you. Bye, ma'am. I was going to say she's a terrible liar, but history suggests that's not true, doesn't it? Why would she lie? Exactly, why would she? She doesn't want to see me when... I am. Um... Oh, is this what they call a power breakfast? Kind of implies there is a breakfast, Graham. Thought you'd have had yours. But I didn't have time, did I? I'll make you some toast I'll if you like. I'll make us some toast. I'll make my own toast, thank you. I just wanted you all to know that at last I'm going to visit Sarah. Rome. Right. Milan. Pick it. Well, about time. Do you know, little Beth will have forgotten what you look like. It's two completely different cities. Same country. All right, so if someone was to say, are you from Guildford, you wouldn't mind. She's flying out tomorrow night. Says our man in the know. I had to discuss. No, you with don't Ted have to. Explain. So that he was around while I was gone. What? 
You, you're leaving Ted to babysit? Yeah, she wasn't going to go. I thought she thought we'd trash the place. Mm. Wild parties. Telly's out the window, that keeper. Mm. Chance would be a fine thing. Mm. So you were through wild parties? All right, Norris knocks if I put the volume up to three. My next door neighbour's a copper. Supernova Heights, it ain't. That's no Gallagher's old. All right, I got the drift. Now, I offered to stay. It was either me or Audrey. From the way I look at it, it's not my job to please you. Well, but she thinks it is. If you behave like adults, I'll treat you as such. We'll leave us to it. Well, we will, won't we? Do you mean it? I do. The question is, do you? Or are you going to prove your grandma right? Is it, then, is it? Well, he's met me mum, so he just have to meet me one day. Yeah, but coming round again, it's not really his style. He's not a Team Biscuits kind of bloke. Well, what kind of a bloke is he? Well, he don't do chat. Is he the strong, silent type? Weather, gardening, celebrity weddings. I forget it. He don't like much. Footer, fishing. Filling around behind your mum's back? Hey! Well, if you were married to my mum, you would have filled around. But I best not mention it, eh? Well, he's quite sarcastic. You don't say. Very sarcastic. He probably thinks, like, 98% of people are just a waste of space. You know, you're bigging him up, you know that? No, no. He's great. You'd love him. And he'll love me. Yeah. Well, he just wants what's best for me. So. Come on, he can't be that protective. I mean, you've been seeing me for months. Are you trying to say my dad don't care about me? You don't even know him? No, it's just he hasn't been near, has he? Not since I've been here. Oh, well, this is a great start, eh? Why not just ring him and tell him not to bother? Oh, well, all the French fancies. Tina! Look, I didn't mean it's it. that kind of crap. It was a joke. Well, you're gonna get right up his nose. Okay, okay, whatever you say, all right? You're the expert. This is important. What well, you do care what I think of him, don't you? Not just what he thinks of me. Duh. Give the lad a coconut. <laughs> okay, I'll keep my head down. Keep me gob shut, and I'll never, ever be funnier than him. The first few times you meet him? Yeah. We might actually manage a proper conversation this time. <laughs> Come through. Dad, this is David. David? We uh, meet at last. Kettle, Sam. And no expense spared on the buffet. <laughs> mm. Would you like uh, tea or coffee? Or can I tempt you to a glass of wine? Well, I'm driving tea, please. Tell me you didn't spend money on that tie. <laughs> <laughs> he gets dressed in the dark. Yeah? Yeah, can't you tell? <laughs> We've got something in common then, David. Hey, I bought him that T-shirt. Did you? Are you a red or a blue? Um, I, I don't really do football. Not anymore. That's right. You do hair, don't you? I was expecting kebabs. It's temporary. She's helping out a friend. He had a heart attack. Too many donors. <laughs> yeah, something like that. How's that work? Cash in hand, no stamp, no holidays. It's a proper job. I'm paying tax and everything. She's a bright girl. Yeah. She is. She could be anything she turned her mind to. How can we do this another time? I'm just saying. No. Quick cup, quick hello, you said. I didn't expect the Spanish Inquisition. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. So, David, apart from reruns of Monty Python on the box and the occasional trip to jail, what's your plan for world domination? Dad, you haven't been here an hour yet. Yeah, so what kept you? I know I'd have asked in the first five minutes if I'd have had a daughter as special as her. I also might have made a point of meeting me sooner and all. I did my own work. Good. Then you'll know that was a bit of a lad. A David? A drifter. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. You don't have to explain yourself. It's complicated. And it's private. Well, I'm not drifting anymore. I've sacked me jobbing at my grand salon. No future in the backstreet shop. I'm enrolling for MVQs. So I'll be qualified in two years and an artistic director in five. And jail? Well, I was lucky she waited this time. But she wouldn't wait again. 
And I'm not risking it. I'm grateful to you, Gail. <laughs> you don't have to say it every time you come. I mean it. Tina's mum as well. She didn't seem it at the time. <laughs> I can imagine. Teenagers don't come cheap. No, Joe, no, don't be daft. You'll not be getting much keep from the kebab queen. She pays away, and it's worth it to see David happy. Take it. Buy a frock or something if you'd rather, please. <laughs> you can buy me a drink sometime. Take it. Doesn't stop me buying you a drink as well. How does Sunday suit? I'm um, flying to Milan tomorrow. Family reunion. Oh. My dad's keeping his beady eye on these two. When you get back then, maybe. Maybe. Be nice. Hmm. As Dad wishes, his sense of stylist requires junior with energy and ideas. Experience necessary. Attitude essential. Hey, let's put your name all over it. Which bit? Oh, come on. That's exactly what you're looking for. Or does it say knowledge of recent prison fashions and advantage? Well, that's your individual touch you bring to the job. Look, what experience have I got, eh? Mixing coloured rinses for 90 year olds. I've no chance. Well, you won't know if you don't ask, will you? Here. Ring this number for further information. I mixed this blue rinse on a woman, yeah? Hmm. Must have reacted funny with her head. <laughs> right, it's engaged. Try it again. Came out in all these pukey green streaks. Graham went spare. Still. Yeah. Look, there's probably like 10,000 people going for it. And are they any better than you? Well, 7,000 of them, yeah. And how many have got your irresistible charm, eh? Right, well, I'll give him another go in a bit, all right? Friday afternoon's fine. And yeah, two, two o'clock suits me. Right, well, I'll, I'll see you then, then, shall I? I told him he'd at least get an interview. Getting yourself through the door is the main thing. After that, it's up to him. You'll be fine. Yeah, should be all right. It's David Platt. Yeah, P L A W T. And I'll see you Friday then. Thanks. Bye bye. What's up? They want references. Well, everybody wants references. Well, it's no bother, surely. What, from a previous employer? Well, your gran is hardly going to do you down, is she? Well, she's not exactly been his best mate recently, though, eh? And she won't even give me a job brewing up and sweeping clippings. She's either going to say I'm God's gift to her dressing based on the strength of that, is she? Well, don't you worry. You stay positive. Something will work itself out. If not, leave it to your granddad. What, are you... Are you going to talk to Gran from there? She's a pushover. This afternoon. I don't know. Ask yourself. You should do something with your hair. Why? What's wrong with it? Well, nothing. Just, like, use it to show them what you can do. Like, dye different colours or shave your initials in the back of something. <laughs> See you later. Well, I bet that's made her day. Gran. I called round this morning for that reference, yeah? She'd not done it yet. So I've just called back again now, still not done it. So she makes me sit down and wait while she writes the whole thing out, loving every second of it she was. So what's it say? I don't know. Sealed. Oh! <laughs> I don't believe it. Well... She didn't say anything bad, exactly. Yeah, she hasn't said anything good, either. Listen to this. David is generally punctual. Generally. Mm. You see, by saying that, it makes it sound as though I'm not always. Well, you're not. Yeah, I know. But I don't need her to tell him that, do I? And listen to this. Where is it? He can be conscientious. Can be. So, in other words, sometimes he isn't. What is that going to look like to them? Eh? You know, I, I might as well not bother. Oh, isn't this brilliant? Out there. Hey, what's up? Thought you were getting changed for your interview. 
I'm not going. Why? I feel like going over there and giving her a good slap. What's your manners, you? Oh, I see what you mean. Talk about jamming with faint praise. Ben, it's invisible. You, go get yourself ready. I'll be back in a bit. We may as well go for the park while we wait. What? You can still pull it off. Oh, Tina, get real, yeah? I need a miracle. I don't normally do requests. Some divine intervention. Is that a new reference? It's a reference. Is this for real? <sighs> Impeccable timekeeping. Outgoing and attentive. Well, yeah, right. I am particularly <laughs> taken by driven and determined to excel. <laughs> Did you get Audrey to write this? Uh, <laughs> what malarkey was jinx from the beginning. Talk about the Amityville horror. How did Claire take it? Well, put it this way. I made sure I was unearthed. A very highly strung young lady, according to the local rumour mill. Excuse me, they're the injured party here. Hey, I'm staying out of this. How are you? Oh, how did it go? Yeah, all right. Would you care to elucidate? Never mind, sweetheart. I mean, there's plenty of other salons out there. Yeah, you know what they say. Hairdressing's a growth industry. Tell him. I start a four-week trial on Monday. Really? Uh, paired and everything. Is he a star or what? 